Okay, the big challenge still has to come in the sense that uh, we committed to go at more than uh, 1,000 meters through the system that will work as much autonomous as possible and uh, this will be really a challenge for us. The biggest challenge in this project for us is uh, dealing with the depth because uh, we are going to realize a mechatronic system that is going to be rated for uh, 1,300 meters which is uh, really a huge uh, depth for us to to realize the system and test it. From a theoretical point of view, the project encompasses different fields of study such as robotics, machine learning, control theory, human-computer interaction. It's interdisciplinary and it's big. And it's not just our part, we have to work with other partners as well. Probably the biggest challenge for my role is having teams across many countries, making sure we get information on time from all over Europe. So there's a lot of liaison work involved. I'm really surprised how uh, much progress we've made. Um, it's only been a year and a half, but uh, uh, progress has been quite amazing. And we have really have a great team, I think. The most surprising thing about the project is how well everybody works together. There's a lot of enthusiasm for the end result and everybody's really giving it their all to make sure it works at the end. Working with teams across Europe is challenging because of the distance, which really forces us to come up with creative ways to work together. And for example, we have developed a comprehensive simulation setup, which allows uh, each team member to run the entire Dextroff system and to perform different tests. Working with teams across Europe is really about communicating across distances, which is what Dextroff is about at its heart. I really enjoy the diversity in terms of expertise and the opportunities we get to network with like-minded researchers. It's really interesting to work with people that is different from you because, uh, I mean, gives you a lot of experience and this is especially true I think for the uh, union researchers because uh, they can have a very important experience at the beginning of their career. It's really very exciting, not only when we are working together at the meetings but also after that when we go together for a dinner, for a beer, and we can share stories and experiences. This is a European collaboration which is very motivating and fulfilling. And there's a strong European identity that um, really makes me feel like a European citizen. Dextra provides a low-cost solution to offload difficult work from humans and reach distant hazardous environments. It will improve the global economy with the prospect of better jobs. Dextroff will make underwater operations and specifically intervention cheaper and safer. And on a local level, as hardware costs uh, come down, uh, it will allow small and medium enterprises to develop new services for Europe. On a global level, I think it will enable uh, operations for environmental protection, such as um, tearing down old oil and gas rigs. This can be quite costly at the moment, and I think DEXU will decrease the cost there as well, hopefully making these processes much quicker and helping the environment that way.